Kelsey, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm just, uh, I'm glad to be a part of the Michael Vick experience right now, man. This is definitely the Michael Vick experience because this is a new experience for me. Now, Kelsey, I have to ask you. It was tough watching the last game. Now, I feel like you guys should be here. How hard was it, man? I want to hear it. It's still, it's still tough, man. It's still tough. Uh, to come out the way we did and to know exactly what they were going to do um, and, and not be able to capitalize on it, um, it's, it, it still has, I still got an empty, still empty feeling in my stomach, yeah, without a doubt. Um, but I'm sure it'll, it'll, it'll go away with, uh, with the work and, and just getting better for next year, knowing that you know, you're that much more experienced uh, going into the next season. Now, this is a weird question, but I got to ask you, okay. who are you pulling for? Yeah, I don't know, man. I, honestly, I haven't I haven't made my pick yet. I, I think it's uh, I don't have a, I'm not biased towards any either one of the teams. I mean, we lost to both of these teams uh, during the season, so I think it's um I think the defenses are playing great right now. Uh, both defenses are playing great, and on top of that, um, the offenses have the star power to be able to put up points, 50 point games. Absolutely. So I don't I don't really know what's going on. I just hope for a good competitive game. Tell me this, because we know it'll be a good competitive game two good quarterbacks playing on both sides of the ball, but I want you to talk about your quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, the, the transition from Alex Smith to Patrick. You know, two great quarterbacks, but what made Patrick so special this year? I think you saw, you saw a little bit of it uh, when you were with yes. us out there in KC. I think he's, um what he ha what he brings to the table in terms of his creativity, man. Just being confident in that, uh, confident in his ability um, to instinctually make plays out there. I mean, it's uh, it's something I haven't seen before. He knows he can throw it anywhere on the field, and um, he trusts his guys out there, which is all you can ask for as a route runner, man. What did you say when you watched that no-look pass on film? Because that's never been done in NFL history. I, you, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it before. So the first time You've he seen did that it before? yeah he, he does it in practice wow. all the time man so it's 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 something that you know being on the receiving end of a no look pass you just always got to have the mind frame that yo this thing even though he's looking 20 yards the other way yeah, he, he can still he can still find a way to get it way. right to your chest so you don't want to get caught off guard and um, i think uh his like i said his creativity and 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 how he plays the game is going to change the game and it's, it's impressive. Kelsey, we, we know you had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back great seasons. How do you prepare for the 2019 season moving forward? I think you just ante it up, man. You uh, you, you see what you did the year before, and uh, that's that's kind of been what I've done every single year is um, is try and take it to a, a next level, take it one more notch up. Um, and uh, I've been grateful to have an unbelievable coach and Andy Reid back there in Absolutely. KC. I can relate um, to that. Without a doubt. And uh, sure enough, he, he always challenges his players to, yeah. to keep getting better and keep striving for, for the next level. And uh, you know what I think? Just uh, just getting back into the groove of things when, when we do yeah. early in, over, over the summer, I think that's going to be the key. And obviously right now, getting some rest. Now, mm -hmm. I hear you're here for a great cause. Tell us a little oh, yeah. bit about it. Well, I'm here uh, teaming up with Emerging uh, Bio Solutions and okay. um, the, the makers of the take-home nasal naloxone. And what it is, is I'm just trying to spread awareness on uh, the opioid overdose crisis that Absolutely. we're having in America. It touches home for me because I'm from Ohio and previously they've led the nation in overdose deaths. And it's just, um, it doesn't sit well with me and it's something I'm trying to help uh, help change. Um, this nasal naloxone, this nasal uh, naloxone is something that uh, I think everyone should have in their in their first aid kit at home. If yes. you know someone or if you're on uh, any type of opioids, um, talk to your pharmacist about what opioids are about, man. Yeah. It's, a, it's a serious, serious issue. Um, it's a lot epidemic. Of people, it, it is without a doubt. Right it's now. a crisis in America. And um, sure enough, you can go to www.beawarebeprepared.com. Talk to your pharmacist about this product. Um, and it's uh, it, I'm just here trying to save lives, man. And now you have from the great Travis Kelsey, not only making an impact on the field, but making an impact off the field as well. Kelsey, thanks for joining always, us. Always, my Mr. man. Vic. Thank you. You look the good guy, too, man. Oh, you Swagged out. As always, always. always. No doubt.